Hello, my name is Matt the Geek and I am Crazy Camel Approved. Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls. Now, you might see that I'm poisoned and running for my life. That is true. But here we are back at Quaylag's Domain. Wonderful stuff. And we will soon be coming up to the second bell of awakening and the Daughter of Chaos, which will lead us into Lost Isolith. It doesn't take too long to get here, probably about five minutes is how long it took me to get here. Um, I also bought some stuff from a merchant that I saw along the way. One that you can only um, only talk to if you're part of the Covenant with Alvira of the Forest Clan or something like that. I can't remember the exact what it's called. You might notice that I'm switched back to my Quaylag's Fury Sword. That is just while I was sort of running through here. Um, I just thought I'd equip it. But what we're going to do now is we are going to rest here first. <sighs> kindle. As far as we can kindle it. Which should only be twice. And kindle once more. There we go. And we're going to join this covenant again. But first we need to crunch a lot of these. In fact, we need to crunch 20 more of these, and we're going to give them all to the Daughter of Chaos. Because... Da, 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 it will help later. We bought the Uchi Katana, which is a nice weapon. It does bleeding damage, which is very nice. And it scales the dexterity, so that might be a weapon that we look at in the future. You see, I have 911 souls. I went and spent a load of money at that merchant. I also bought a, a new ring. Just so I can say I had it, which was this one here. So, it slows weapon durability. So if I did want to use... Um, oh, sorry, it slows how quickly a weapon will lose its durability. So if I did want to use one of those crystal weapons, which do a heck of a lot of damage, then I can. Without fear that it's going to crap out on me very, very soon. Soon, soon. So you're probably wondering just why I'm crunching all these souls. This is one of the main reasons why I went and farmed a, a load of humanity. And you might be wondering why the hell I'm doing it now. Um, it's because I want to save a character from later on, which I'm sure I've already mentioned, but in case I haven't, I'm just going to keep quiet, and in case you've forgotten, I'm going to keep quiet. But yeah, we need 30 to give to her. Right, okay, enter the Covenant. That's how you first get the Great Chaos Fireball. Join this Covenant. Oh! And now... I need to offer humanity. All 30 pieces of humanity. And yes, it does take a while. A long while. So, I'm probably going to cut the video. Um, I'm going to be talking anyway, just in case I don't, because I know how I am with editing and whatnot. But yeah, it's literally, you have to stand here and offer humanity 30 times and you have to go for all these slow-ass loading bits and whatnot. Humanity. Boom. Pyromancy Chaos Storm. And that's how you know when you've done it right. Now, if you um, take the old witch's ring at the very start of the game, you can actually talk to her. There's not really much point for it, but you can do it. So the Chaos Storm, probably a little bit more useful than the Great Chaos Fireball at this point, but I don't know if it's better or not. Um... The Witch of Isolus, in an ambitious attempt to copy the first flame, created instead the Flame of Chaos. Twisted bed of life. Now that will be important for later on, for what we're coming up to. Could have talked to the servant, but we're not going to. Now, did we kill 
the big bugger. I don't think we did. But we'll find out. I would have thought we did, because if we didn't rest at the Daughter of Chaos, then I wouldn't have taken on... No, I didn't. I didn't take on Ceaseless Discharge. And there's a reason he's called Ceaseless Discharge. It's because he discharges ceaselessly. Go out there. What are you doing? Ah, uh, okay. They're getting attacked purposely by these guys here in order to get um, infected by the bugs. Because if they get infected by bugs, it can open up a whole different storyline. Well, not a whole different storyline, but you could open up a few things, get a few things more. And that's where we're going to end up later down there. I'm actually surprised that it all interlinks this way. I'm not surprised, but I love how it interlinks this way. Can't actually see any of the monsters down there. But, uh, oh, trust me, you, you'll know them when we see them. Hey, come on. And they are a monster that we have previously seen in this uh, game. And there are two ways to beat Ceaseless Discharge. One, you attack him normally. Or two, you do it the way that I'm going to do it. You'd be a little bitch about it. <laughs> it's probably going to get me killed once or twice, because every time I do this boss, I get killed at least twice on him. So, be, be aware of that. But, we are going to attempt it anyway. Hello, Ceaseless Discharge. Now, I'm going to walk up to him. He's not going to attack me. We're going to be the best of friends. See this pit of lava around him? That's coming from him. He has created that. And he is an absolute abomination. But he's just stood here, watching over something. Okay, we are now directly in his line of sight. And all we can see is this mountain here. But there's this little runoff of lava over here with this pillar. And if we come over to it, the lava disappears, but the pillar contains something. Now, to me, that looks like an old sort of sarcophagus. However, there's a body on top of it. If you pillage that, he now becomes very, very angry with us. And you can attack him, as I've said. By hitting that arm, it comes swinging at you. But as I also said, we're going to be a little bitch and run away. And do it the cheap way. So what it's led to believe in the lore is the body that we um, desecrated and took the clothing from is his sister, is Ceases Discharge his sister. And... yeah. <laughs> Reading back to what the Chaos Storm said, is that someone created the first flame or whatever, they create the chaos flame. And it said that whilst messing about with all these things, they accidentally created themselves as monsters and their loved ones as monsters. That's that's sort of how I interpret it. And he was turned into this. And he's gonna jump. And he attacks. And he can't do anything now. It's game over for him. Three Four, five, six, and it kills him. Six hits and he will die. He'll get stuck on there and he'll fall to his doom. And he just disappears. And we defeated him. That unlocks a little cutscene. Which is the lava that he was stood in will now start to disappear. Because he was the one creating that fire. The lava. The lava. Not all of it will disappear, it will still leave some pools behind, but it hardens, cools over, whatever you want to call it. And we should get like 20,000 souls? Yeah, 20,000 souls. The reason you don't get much from him is because he's a fairly easy boss, because you can glitch him out the way that I did there. So there's no point in them giving you, oh here's 50 million souls for killing such a tough boss, when they put a easy way to glitch him out on there. That's understandable. So we have got 21 humanity, none active, 19 Estus flocks, and we're going to be moving on. Hello. Did you enjoy that? So yeah, all of these are friendly apart from this guy and that guy. Everyone else will be friendly. But when I said that person was trying to get infected earlier, it's through those little creatures there. Like, he will grab hold of you at some point, and if you've not got a um, helmet on, 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah. Then those parasites will infect you with a bug. He doesn't care about me. We're going to be friends. He's praying. Alrighty then. Yeah, they will um, infect you with a bug and it will open up a, uh, a new shopkeeper, should we say. That's the best way to do it. And as you can see, a whole heap of new friends over there. Just so we can uh, do it better, I'll put the binoculars on. Ah, well, it didn't work too well. But those eyes, those monsters are Taurus demons. Yep, a whole hell of a lot of Taurus demons. The first boss in the game is now not a common enemy, but can be a common enemy. They will all die once, they will disappear once you kill them. But this fella over here, he will always respawn. And I'm sure you remember, the Capra Demon. Much easier without his doggies. And you can stun lock as well. Because we now do so much damage, it just is ridiculous. <laughs> and once we come down here, we are going to get an NPC invasion like we did with Mil uh, Manny to Mildred. Not Mildred to Manny, good lord. So you kind of want to just run to about here, this corner here, and start heading back. Is that how you want to do it? No. Either that or he's not going to turn up again. Nope, he does turn up. Excellent. I'm going to turn back just to get to this sort of area here. And one of the reasons why you can break house fireball is just so you can do that. Done. <laughs> oh, he leaves that behind. But he should have dropped a... Oh no, I guess it went straight into me. Um, he normally drops, like, uh, hard humanity for you, or something that you can pick up, but for some reason it all went straight into my thing, onto my active humanity. Now, you can run across there, killing all of those Capra demons, um, to get over there, and they will respawn, or you can just roll off down here. Oh, look, there's a bugger there. Never mind. He is not very weak to, to fire. But what we do have is a bow somewhere. And we can cheese him out that way. Where's my bow? Long bow. There we go. And we're just going to stand here and shoot him in the face. <laughs> Doesn't really matter where I shoot him by the look of it. So I'm just going to do that. Oh, we've dropped one. There we go. And the reason I'm not going to get up close and personal with him is because he hits quite hard and he has its acid attack which will ruin your equipment. So you will have to repair all of those. And granted we've got the souls for it but I don't particularly feel like, like doing that. And I've kind of made a bit of an error here using this because... Well not buying enough of these actually. Because there is an area coming up that I would much prefer to have a lot of arrows for. Oh, I can skip it. That's right, I can skip it. I forgot. I'm not sure how far of it I can. Oh no, I do have to walk away. But the thing about Lost Eyes with is it's kind of a boss rush. Boss rush? Boss rush. Boss rush. There we go. Words. Use them. Thank you. We're going to kindle this one and we're going to kindle it a few more times. Just because this is going to be our main hub for a little while. And we've still managed to keep our humanity. This is probably the longest that I've ever kept my humanity in a game of Dark Souls. So that's quite impressive for me. Since the Duke's Archives, we've come here and done that. Obviously, it's only been like an hour or so. <laughs> but uh, that's still good for me. And we might as well reinforce if we can. I don't think we can, though. Reinforce the dragon tooth. Mm -hmm. That'd be quite a good one. Demon spear. Could do. Could do, but I won't. Nope, I can't actually reinforce anything worthwhile. As I go through here. Um, ooh, is that twinkly tired, right? Yes. 
So the witch hat and all, the witch set, I got that from Witch Beatrice, who you find dead after you do certain things um, near the entrance to Blight Town. Like before you cross the bridge to go over to Blight Town, you'll find her dead body there. And it's like, oh, look at me, she died. That's not good. Exactly how you react as well. <laughs> um, so we might as well level up. We can do two levels. What are we going to do? I think we're going to do. We might as well do endurance and vitality. Why or not? There you go. And this should be a soul consumable item. Soul of a proud knight. I don't actually know what that one is. That might be a spell of some kind. If I'm. No, that's not a spell. It can't be a spell. But now we have the lightning battle axe, and you've seen what it done to a boss, but common enemies? These ones are made of rock, so this isn't going to hurt them too much. Actually, we did take down Capra Demon in three swings, so... You know, that's always a good judge. But we can take down former bosses in two swings. These guys have never drop anything. I've never seen a drop from these guys, so there's no point trying to farm them for anything. They give a terrible amount of souls, and they don't drop anything. So just a heads up for any wannabe people, wannabe uh, treasure hunters. Wow, that should have got it. That's got his attention. So now we have the only respawning Taurus demon in the game. Five hits. Five hits to kill the Taurus It's almost as good as uh, when we first died on that boss. And he will always spawn out of there as well. He never stopped coming back. We are going to come over here because I want to see what that item is. Hello, Capra Demon. Okay, Capra Demon has died and gives 800 souls. Clearly, Capra Demon is not as powerful or threatening as the Taurus Demon, and oh, it's just a soul consumed boy, and no worries. Um, hello! Now, one of the things about Ossite Lies of it is um, it's kind of a boss rush area, as I'm pretty sure I've mentioned earlier. If we go through there, we have a boss fight. If we go through the next door, we have a boss fight. And we didn't have a boss fight too long ago. Well, a former. Uh, no. Yeah, not too long ago. I mean, we had Ceaseless Discharge. And then you have. Um, the. No, not. Ah. The Fire Sage Demon, that's the one. And someone else. Okay, here we have. Maggots. These are probably better known as Sunlight Maggots, I believe. And they drop an item called the Sunlight Maggot. Which is basically one of those that has been possessed. Now you can tell one's been possessed because it'll have red eyes. But what you want to do is you want to make sure every single one of them is dead. Before, before going up to any boss fights. And the reason that I gave 30 humanity to the Daughter of Chaos, because that's the only way you can get through this door here. And if you don't pay that, all of these maggots being dead doesn't matter, because there's more here. So this one, I believe, has been infected with the Sunlight Maggot, and will give that drop. Nope, maybe not. Must be this one, because it's got glowy red eyes. There you go, the Sunlight Maggot. And we will equip that. But first, we want to murder all of the other maggots. Was a oh, crystal deem uh, crystal lizard there. Missed it. But you need to make sure all of these are dead before entering Lost Isolate. And we can skip the Fire Sage boss by the look of it. And um, the one after that, the Centipede Demon. No, no, we cannot. De we definitely cannot skip the Centipede Demon. It's an essential item that it drops. So. We are going to go and fight them all. 
But I am going to equip the Sunlight Maggot. And hopefully it will not make me slow. There it is. It is slightly heavier. It's slightly worse for defense for everything, but we have leveled it up once, so that could be what it is. But we're going to wear it. And look at that. We now have a light source on our head, and it will make everything around us light up. This item is essential for going through the area after Lost Eyes Lift, which is the Tomb of the Giants, which is by far my most hated area of the game. Because it's pitch black unless you have this, and there are some absolutely awful scares in it. <laughs> Not even kidding, it, it terrified me the very first time I went through there. I was like, oh my god, ah, ah, ah. Close range battle ahead. You're right, it is a close range, and you can't take this, you're correct. Because we are about to fight the Fire Sage Demon. Or Demon Fire Sage, sorry. And you want to make sure you get to him as close to him as possible. Avoiding the magical attacks. Right, we'll take that one and heal. He likes to use the magic attack, so the closer you get to him, the more likely you are to trigger these other attacks, which is him flying up into the air, much like the Asylum Demon did. That one attack, that attack right there. That's the attack we only want him to do. We don't want him to do anything else. Because then we can continuously do this. Does that it hurts like hell. One of the other things you can do is you can come behind here, get your bow and arrow out, and just shoot. It takes forever to do and lots of arrows, but he can't go anywhere, and all you have to do is just that. He's gonna keep trying to attack you. It's not gonna work out well for him. Just stand in that corner there and just keep spraying him with arrows. And yes, I am going to kill him this way because he always kills me otherwise. Without doubt, without fail, he murders me horribly. So, I am going to cheap out the Demon Fire Sage and just keep hitting right bumper fire arrows at him. <laughs> so this is a legitimate strategy. It's like camping. Um, obviously, this is a little bitch move, but... I don't care. He always kills me. I don't like fighting him, so I'm going to do it. <laughs> so we're doing like 22 damage. Have I got large arrows at all? Oh, feather arrows? Oh, fire arrows? Let's see. Will that do any different? That actually does more damage. Not much, but fire arrows against demon fire sage works better than just standard arrows, so that's not too bad. I'm going to switch back to my standard arrows just to keep my fire arrows for an occasion where there's something that doesn't like fire and they cost more. I mean for 7 damage I'm not too fussed. But yep. Yeah. <laughs> this is not the way Dark Souls was meant to be played at all. But I found this out the other day and I was like okay well to speed up the video processing and to make sure that I keep my humanity I'm gonna do this. <laughs> Sorry, I know you wanted me to see... I know you probably want to see me fight this legitimately. But that's what the Asylum Demon was. That's what... Actually, I never showed off if you go back to um, the Undead Asylum. There is another boss fight there. It's a secret boss fight against another one of these. Except he's not on fire. I do not like fire monsters. Seeing as my primary... Primary? Yes. Primary weapon that I like to use is Quelex Fury Sword, a fire based weapon. It kind of ruins my uh, fire attacks. But never mind, never mind. I'm just going to stand here and you're almost dead to the Fire Sage. <laughs> I think get like 30,000 souls or 50,000 souls for killing this dude. It's quite a lot of souls you get for murdering him. 
And considering you can just cheap him out like you did the other one, even though that tree is supposed to break. Don't get me wrong, hit that tree is supposed to be broken, he is supposed to come after you. With righteous and furious anger. But um yeah. He's probably a little bit harder than Caesar's Discharge. Actually, he's probably a lot harder than Caesar's Discharge. Because you can kill Caesar's Discharge in six hits. This guy is clearly taking a lot more. Well then we are doing like 20, 30 damage each time, so. Oh, we're actually doing less damage. I lied earlier. We weren't doing more damage with the fire arrows. We were doing three damage less. I don't know why I got that confuzzled, but hey. He's almost done. And we've almost achieved this boss to, to death. That little attack that he keeps doing there, that one hit kills me every time. So, that's why I'm doing this. Because I, I don't know the pattern for it. I can never escape it. He always kills me with it, and I don't want that to happen today. So we spent like five minutes just killing this dude very casually. One more hit order there. Oh, I missed. Final blow, it's gotta be. Bam! He is down. Goodbye, Demon Fire Sage. And he will drop an item, which is the Demon's Catalyst. Yeah, that's for all you spell users out there. It's only 20,000 souls he drops. Okay. I lied. It was 20,000 souls he drops. And going down is the next place we meet uh, Slayer. He's actually looking for the item that we have on our head, if you haven't figured it out from his dialogue. Oh, wait. This isn't where we meet Slayer. I lied. That's the next boss fight. Go to the next boss fight. Actually, we're going to go get 20 Estus flasks and then we're going to come back. And by doing that, we have to go to the Daughter of Chaos. But I don't want to just teleport there because that might not help me from what I want to do now. Ow! In my face, I was using that when you burned it up. Because you can teleport back to the Daughter of Chaos, but if you run up here, I believe you activate a shortcut between the Daughter of Chaos and down here, so much better to do that. Two hits. Two hits, but it's a little bit more risky, so I don't know if I want to do that or not. Hi! Whoa. And you see how much damage fire does here? Almost none. Enough to kill that dude. The only reason I'm killing him is because I want that soul consuming boy and behind all three of them. I think it's Soul of a Raid Warrior. Yep, yeah, Soul of a Raid Warrior. There we go. And then if we go on this little lever up here, lift even, not lever, glows red, and we now have access between the Daughter of Chaos and down here. So we go up, whoa, up the anus. Quaylag's Domain. Bam. There's him again. He is the other merchant that you unlock by getting infected by the parasite, in case you were wondering. Can we? Oh, well, we're on level leveling up. So I am marked as guilty now, I believe. Let me see. Can I see anywhere if I'm guilty? Uh, it doesn't tell me if I'm guilty or not, so I don't know. Wow, our equipment load is 17.3 out of 74. We can have a lot of equipment, and we're choosing to be, like, almost nothing. Meh. We're going to take the shortcut down. Uh, that way leads back to evil. Yeah, I didn't feel like running through all the uh, little tar pot monsters again. So, I jumped off and took a tiny amount of damage. And I'm going to take a tiny bit more there, and we're going to come back to this bonfire and rest up. And we have our next boss fight coming up after this. However, that is going to have to wait until the next episode. We're going to sit... No. Apparently we're not going to sit here. We're going to sit here and wait for this boss fight. So, thank you very much for watching. I have been Matt the Geek. I hope you've been entertained. And when we come back, we'll be fighting a new 
boss. Catch you then. Bye-bye for now.